Alrighty, boys, so we're gonna finally be doing the ultimate chain pathing guide, and I've been wanting to do this for a long time because there's so many different paths, and there's so many different ways to do said paths, and I want to show you the most effective, efficient, and I want to show you all the sort of scenarios you can kind of look for and your decision making. I think your early game with Kane right now is one of the most important things that you can work towards, and this will probably help your early game 2x fold. So, first things first, we're gonna go over a very generic. Clear. This is your standard full clear. This is something I would recommend that a lot, a lot of junglers in any elo below masters look to utilize. So the number one rule I kind of want to like integrate in your guys' mind is if you're playing below masters, kind of just always want to path for bot. So typically if you're playing blue cane, now keep in mind red and blue cane path differently. This is a blue cane full clear. So first things first, you're going to start off on the blue. You're going to want to immediately look to move the Krug or the big golem over to the wall that way you can get faster Q animation cancels and this will give you more auto attacks so once you see this blue is at 200 hp you see right there you're gonna drag this gromp you're gonna smite to auto it and then you're going to pull it with your Q and then you're gonna move that gromp all the way in the line right there and with gromp once it's at 187 right there you're gonna start moving it towards the wolf and then with wolves, you're gonna start out with your Q and you're gonna drag this one to the wall. This is the same. And notice how I'm always autoing the big wolf. All right. So nothing's gonna stop you. Let's say there was a gank in mid or top. You're not gonna stop clear and you're gonna start moving your camp towards your next camp immediately like that. So we're gonna level up our E and then we're gonna E immediately into this wall halfway through the lane. We're gonna Q immediately, W immediately. Then we're gonna start spreading it out. So that way we can hit all of our Q. So we're gonna start moving towards the red here. And we're going to let that die. Once it's at 30 HP, we're going to let the pet kill it. We're going to get on the red, and then we're going to move the red over towards this wall. And you're going to want to keep queuing in the wall. And this will help you clear a lot faster. So you can see this is very effective. And now, once you're on the red, this is where you want to look towards bot. And you're going to spite this camp, by the way. This is where you want to look towards bot. So when you're on this red, you're looking at your mid and your bot lane. And if your lane is pushing in, you want to look for the gank. You look for the scuttle. And if your lane is pushing out, like they have more minions. So this is where you would look for a gank. So you'd want to make sure you come from an angle. And you want to wrap behind them. So you'd want to usually go like in here, over here, and get behind them like this. So you'd normally gank from this angle, like this. And then you'd like follow up behind them, like that. And you'd look for the gank right there. And you want to stay moving with them behind them. And let's say they were pushed in, then you would just go for the scuttle. And you can maybe look for the mid gank, but keep in mind, if the enemy jung isn't at the bot scuttle, then he's probably going to be at the top scuttle, so this means he's going to counter gank. And after you're done with scuttle, this is when you want to reset. Because you want to go back to these this camp right here, and you want to be there around like 420, 415. So, that's clear number one. Alrighty boys, so now we're going to be getting into our second clear. And now this clear I recommend for my high elo cane mains, you know, if you're like diamond, masters, plus, etc. I would recommend doing this full clear. The reason why I recommend this one for higher elo and not for lower elo, a standard full clear is a lot safer because a lot of my higher elo players know that when you start raptors, it's kind of a liability because you need to be back to your raptors as they spawn. And I'll kind of show you how to do it as fast, how to do it as efficient, and also the gank opportunities that you're going to have. So first things first, obviously you're going to start raptors. Typically what I like to do is I like to get a ward on my blue around um, 35 seconds before blue spawns. That way I can sure that the enemy jung isn't starting my blue and or does like a you know, top side invade into my blue and usually you would look to do this clear into junglers that aren't going to be farming faster than you or farming full speed with you keep in mind this is put into high tempo junglers junglers like lee sin Thou, volley bear etc because you're going to be able to build a pretty big cs advantage and xp advantage which will help you win the uh early mid game fights so you're going to do the raptors you're going to skip the red you're going to eat all the way down to your Krugs. And notice I'm not going to use my Smite till the red. You actually save time by doing that. The reason why you're going to be skipping your red here is because you want to make sure that when you're clearing your second amps, that you're going to not have that like wait time. Just whenever you clear the red in between your Krugs, next time you clear, you're going to have to wait an extra like 10, 15, 20 seconds. So you're going to Smite the red. And then you're always going to make sure that you're dragging your amps towards your next camp. So I'm moving the red on over towards my top side right now. And like this is just a way to save a couple seconds. You know, once it's like a couple autos away, that's when you can drag it out in the yellow here. 
And I'll notice we're not actually going to level our W because this is an AFK full player. We're going to get two in our Q and then we're going to do the same method that we do with Raptors and Krugs with Wolves to Grom. So this is going to just make you having, it's, it's going to make you have a lot more CS and a lot more XP. So notice that there hasn't been a single gank opportunity yet. It's kind of what you're like. Oh, it's, it's a bit of an AFK early clear, but your second clear you could look to be a lot more aggressive after you get that first reset. And you're going to have a lot of uh, gold for your first reset. Some people don't even get a pot. I get pots sometimes just in case there is a fight. It's nice to have that bonus HP. So, but just, I'm not really using my E from um, Rob to Blue. I usually save my E for maybe Scuttle or maybe a gank. But after this, it's a pretty long CD, like 21 seconds. Your E right here might not have it for a gank. So normally after your blue here, this is where you would look up. You don't want to look top too long. If there's a quick gank, you can look for it, and you usually look mid. So you can look for something mid, and if there's both pushed in, okay, what you're looking for is if they're pushed past this terrain. If they're pushed past this terrain, or this terrain, and your team is like equal HP, you can look for the gank. So this is normally where you would do what I call a cross map, and this is typically where you're gonna have your second trinket up. So first trinket you use to defend your blue. Like a trinket you put on their raptors and then normally you'd gank from this angle and the reason why i'm going to show you more than just a full clear because this is not just a full clear and done you're gonna be farming your raptors as they spawn so this is what i was talking about with your raptors being a liability this is where sometimes the enemy jump will look to uncap your raptors if they know that you started raptors so this is why you have to come back to them as they spawn that's why you also can't be or uh, sucked in top lane for too long after this this is where you can maybe look for like a bot play or maybe another mid play, you know, if they're pushed past this terrain, or if they're pushed past this terrain. And if not, then you would just look to go from your Krugs. And if you want to smite your Krugs for uh, clear speed or efficiency, you can. But typically, I would save my smite for maybe an objective. Just keep in mind, this first reset, you're going to have a good amount of gold. So this is going to be like a Dirk. And if you get a gank off, it could be like a Dirk and a Longsword or maybe a Dirk Rectric. So you can see my XP level five as well. Very nice. So this is clear number two. Alrighty boys, time to get into clear number three. Now this clear, I want to make sure that you guys understand the full hunter play and the full capability of this clear. So basically what you're going to do, is you're going to look to do this clear into any jungler that can either farm faster than you or farms around equal speed. So your uh, Fiddlesticks, your Hecarim, your Evelyn, um, any jungler that looks to AFK farm, this is a terrific clear to do to kind of punish that AFK farmy play style because Junglers that thrive from AFK farming only know how to farm. So when you throw them out of their comfort zone, you're going to build a lot of leverage. And I've shown this clear a lot, and it is incredibly effective, and it is incredibly high tempo. So what we're going to do, we are going to look to start Raptors. And this is definitely something I would recommend for blue or red cane. Now, full clears are usually for blue cane. Um, it's just, clears are usually for red cane. We're going to start our Q, and then we're going to get our E. So this is where, if they started blue, and if they're still on blue, you can look to smite it. Or if they're on Gromp, you look to fight them and go for the smite fight. But if they're not over here, let's say they started topside, what you're going to do is you're going to farm blue. And normally what you would do is you put a ward on your own blue. So I shouldn't even have a ward, but I, I forgot to put it down. But you put a, your, a ward on your blue. And what you would do is you'd smite the blue. That way you're securing a camp. Then you're going to look for the uh, Gromp here. And you want to make sure it goes to the bush so it stays invis, and you want to just go like this. That way you're farming it as fast as possible. And if your bot lane is, if their bot lane's pushing in, this is where you can look for an easy gank. So an easy gank angle would be, you know, just eating down through this terrain and looking for the gank. But let's say you're, you're it's not gankable. What you do is you set and you farm your top side. At, you want to do wolves, so what you do is you get blue, romp, scuttle. And then you would maybe look for a gank through mid, but you want to cross down towards bot side, skip wolves, and farm raptors, red, frogs, and then look for another bot gank. So that's what you would do with this clear. That's clear number three. Alrighty, boys, so we're going to be showing you clear number four now. So this is going to be specifically for red cane, and red cane only really has one primary clear. So the difference between red and blue is blue, a, a very versatile playstyle of either invading, AFK farming, or you can even look for early ganks, but red. Pretty much only want to look for early skirmishes. You want to consistently be setting yourself up for ganks. I'll kind of show you the whole thought process with that. So basically what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to start raptors. And I always get red pot, or yeah, I always get a pot for red can. What you're going to do is you're going to start raptors and you're going to... Just go hold on to your smite till red. But what you're going to do is you're going to start raptors and 
fastest and most efficient way is you're gonna get E, save a couple seconds walking around, and you're gonna red. And when you're on your red, usually your second camp till you're done is when you look for ganks. So if you're on your red, you look bot. If bot's pushing in, you can look for the gank. And if they're pushing out, then you don't look for the gank. So you're gonna do red. Usually you smite red, and then you're gonna do Krug. So let's say hypothetically if this is gankable, you know, I wrap around, get behind them. And I'm gonna look for the gank, but let's say it's not gankable because that's usually the case. Sometimes you're not gonna find that early gank. I want to teach both scenarios. What you're gonna do is, and this is this is gonna be a little bit of a journey, so stick with me on this one. It's a fun one though. What you're gonna do is you're gonna level up your W. See, notice you're not actually gonna be getting your uh, double Q because this isn't an AFK clear, right? But what you're gonna do, and this is very important terrain walking, so you're gonna need to want to master this, but. You're gonna be able to go all the way to your wolves here and you're gonna be looking for ganks in top and mid immediately you're not actually gonna be like prioritizing your wolves too heavy but what you're, i'm doing now is when i'm farming my wolves it's gankable yes go run mid it's top gankable if yes go run top if none are gankable farm your wolves and we're gonna do the same strategy to get fast resets on it so we're gonna farm wolves and then we're gonna farm from so right now, I'm looking top mid. Is it gankable? Is it gankable? So you're always looking to gank with this player. Because you have that early longsword, you could be a little bit stronger. And because you got an early reset, you have full HP. So you have much more healthier ganks. I'm going to smite this camp, drag it on over. Same time. And we're going to always drag our camps towards where we're going to next. And as you can see, like I'm done with this clear with a longsword and a reset. Same time scuttle spawn. So... If I don't have anywhere to gank, I still get level 4, I still get scuttle, but now I have a reset. And once again, we're looking, okay, can I gank mid? Can I gank top? See, normally at this point, you want to emphasize more on mid. Like, if top is too hard, if it's too much of an investment, you don't want to do it. And, you know, you're going to have one extra trinket, because normally you don't want to ward your blue early on, so you put a ward on the raptors. And can I gank mid here? If yes, I look from this angle, always path behind the brain, try and get behind them. And if no, then you simply just cross over towards your bot side and you get your raptors. And once again, you're going to be looking okay. Now that I'm on the bot side of the map, I'm not looking top at all. I'm looking bot. So it's bot going to be gankable. If bot is gankable, I'm going to do my raptors. And I'll actually show you a little bit of routing here as well. Because this is a very OP routing that you can do. So let's say enemy jungler got scuttled and he reset. What you can do is you can actually go over this wall. You could hug this corner like this. And then you can queue over this wall like this, and you're going to get out of that scuttle vision if they controlled it. And then you're just going to walk to this brain, and you're going to go behind, and you're going to get a gank off. So that is a very aggressive clear. There's a lot of gank opportunity with that one. If you enjoy that one, that's the red clear. One more clear, and we're in the clear. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're going to be doing the final clear. Now, I mentioned early on that um, the most important clear for my lower elo cane mains is to just do a full clear towards bot lane. And that works for both sides, so I want to show you the fastest and most effective way to full clear on red side, not just blue side. So this one's going to be a little bit different than uh, blue side, and a lot of people like this clear, so hopefully you always will enjoy. But we're going to minions off because I don't want them to hit me. So what we're going to do, and you don't need a leash. Sometimes you get a leash, sometimes you don't. But uh, normally you don't need a leash, so what we're going to do is we're going to be starting red, we're going to be queuing in the ball, and we're going to drag... Yeah, head into this bush. We use our Q pretty consistently here, over and over and over. And what we're gonna do after this, we're gonna just kill this with autos. So whenever it's below 500 HP and you have your Q up, do not use your Q again. Like let's say you get a leash, not use your Q again. You're gonna use your Q to go over this wall. And you're gonna get your E. Now notice I didn't use my E yet, and notice I didn't use my Smite yet. You're gonna hold on to both these. And when you're doing a full clear, you don't always need to get pot. I get pot sometimes because, you know, after my full clear, sometimes I'm looking for a gank. I said the extra HP. So normally you should be done with your Krugs at 210. Perfect timing. And you're going to do the Raptors. You're going to auto it once, take one step back. You're going to kill them all. And then you're going to auto this three, four times. Drag them all to this bush. You're going to kill them all at the same time. You're going to put two in your queue and you're going to run straight down bot here. And we're going to go for the wolves. You're going to want to smite immediately. You're going to auto Q, auto one, three times. And then you're going to E all down to the blue. Out of this one, three times. And then you're going to Q to the right. And you're going to drag this Gromp. Or you're going to drag it all the way over to the Gromp. And 
Normally you want to get it into this terrain so you can get them to the wall. Get a little bit more fast, a little bit more effective. But what I could do here is I could smite the Grom and to the left. So I get a little bit of healing for when I go to gank. And I should be done with the Grom by around 315. And what you're going to do after this is you're going to go in the river. And this is very important to understand that if you're looking for a gank after this, you don't want to gank from traditional areas. You want to gank by abusing the walls. So right now you can look for the scuttle or if the enemy bot lane's pushed up, I can use my E behind them right here and boom, you got a free gank. So that could work out really well. Or you just get the scuttle and let's say it's not gankable. Um, you look good if that's gankable. And if neither are gankable, then you just reset and you go farm your camp skin. And that is all the best can clears in Season 14. If you guys enjoyed, I hope you drop a like, I hope you drop a sub, and I will see all of you next time.